Hi, my name is Whitney or Wit. I am a GMA and GRE instructor, and I've been with Manhattan Prep since 2010, and I'm located in Durham, North Carolina. I do teach yoga, um, particularly hot yoga, uh, and then I do pretty much anything I can to get outdoors. So I do a ton of backpacking, um, hiking, camping. I love paddleboarding. I have three dogs, and so kind of dragging them along is always entertaining, both for me and other people in the lake who find it humorous when a person and three dogs start sharing a paddleboard. I think I have a goofy energy, um, and so it's just kind of like, easy after you've been at work all day um, to kind of get into your head. And I think I do a nice job of getting people laughing and, and hanging out and just sort of letting go of the stress of studying. I think far and away, the best part of a class is that studying for one of these exams is really lonely. And I love a class because it's sort of like brothers in arms, like you're all in the trenches together. And I know in my classes, at least I, kind of spend a lot of time putting people into groups as almost just like venting sessions to talk about like, how's your week been? What are you frustrated with? What chapter did you hate the most? And so I do think that bringing other live humans into your GMAT or GRE journey can make what really can be frustrating at times because it's going to be more enjoyable. The book that I am exceedingly passionate about that I share with most people, and I always share this with my students, um, is a book by Tara Brock. She's a meditation um, teacher and psychologist. Her first book was called Radical Acceptance. Um, and it really is absolutely mind blowing how much we can change our perception of ourselves um, by just kind of acknowledging where we are and learning that where we are is perfect even if we are striving for more, like battling our own demons of self-worth. It's always so amazing to me how like changing in one little part of your life, you know, can have these far reaching impacts, like emotional impacts on our quality of life everywhere else. I want you to know that like, if you want to do well, whatever that means, like you will and um, do not enter into this path lightly. It will be challenging. And there will be times where you doubt your capacity and there'll be times where you doubt that you made the right decision um, because you're not alone. You know, I've never had a student that didn't experience those feelings at some point along their GMAT or GRE or just grad school trajectory. You know, just keep kind of like believing in you and, and trusting that even in those moments where it's a struggle, that the other side of that moment is like real progress and real revelation. And you just have to keep moving through those moments to get to it.